Pretty rare sighting on the Connecticut River shoreline in line. That's right, a five foot sturgeon. I mean, would you just look at that thing? Yeah. It was found by a family at the beach. News 8's Tina Detell spoke to them. She is their story. What these folks found here along the Connecticut River makes you think what really is in those waters. Carlene Gerber wondered what had washed up on this bank. No doubt a huge fish. Which looked very unusual. So I ran home and got my iPhone and took some pictures. This is what she captured, her grandkids, Elliot and Anna, next to this rare find, first shown on the pages of Limeline.com. What was remarkable about it, Anna said, was that it was even bigger than her brother. She had never seen a fish bigger than her brother. And that's no fish story. Just about seven feet, just under seven feet. The DEEP says this is an Atlantic sturgeon, a rare sight in these waters. While they do lay their eggs upstream in freshwater, they usually don't stick around, spending most of their time down south. Or do they? So even at 15 years old, say, she still wasn't fully grown or fully mature? Correct. Oh, no, right. She would have got much bigger and, and the eggs weren't mature yet. Interesting questions washing up along with this fish. That one almost looks prehistoric. They are. They've been on the planet for, for 60 million years. A fact not lost on this four-year-old. Looked like a um, dinosaur. <laughs> Those eggs make this fish highly regarded and now very rare. And that, of course, is caviar. It's caviar is sturgeon eggs. But don't get any ideas about looking for more of these Atlantic sturgeon here in the Connecticut River or the waters beyond because they are endangered and taking them is illegal. In Lyme, Tina Detell, News 8.